Welcome to the Harris Academy Wimbledon Student Bulletin. Hello, welcome to this week's Harry House League. It's Mr. James here. Although, admittedly, you may not have recognised me because Mrs. James gave me a trim this week, which uh, I'm not sure I'm going to allow that to happen again. Um, I think she thought it was some kind of house competition or something. Anyway, speaking of house competitions, there was a bit of an issue with last week's house competition. So, this week's league is dominated by points awarded for your entries for the uh, the screen free challenge. Before we come on to that though, I just want to show you this video which uh, Sophia sent in of her entry for the previous week's competition, which is a masterclass in building up the tension. So watch this. I mean, we don't even know how she did. Incredible. Um, and it earned her some bonus house points, which we will talk more about in a couple of minutes. So, yes, the Screen Free Challenge um, this week, which was in honour of Black Lives Matter, lots and lots and lots of you entered that competition, so thank you for the respect that you showed for that competition. Um, it, it really was an important one, and it's great that so many of you entered, and it did make a big difference. So let's see where we are then, shall we? So in seventh place, with 293 points, is Dowding. Although Dowding actually did win this week's, uh, or they came top of the league for effort points. And I know that there's at least one person watching this who would be delighted about that. Um, so <clears throat> well done to Dowding. And it's good that you've launched your campaign to get onto the podium, um, even if, you know, you may not quite have as much time as you would have liked to get there. At number six, with 333 points, it's Wilberforce. At number five, with 359 points, it's Gibson. At number four, with 373 points, it's Rutherford. You keeping up? At number three, with 384 points, and holding on to their third place position, it's Morris. So who is at number two? Well, as I said, lots and lots and lots of you entered the um, the competition, the uh, the screen free challenge, and it made a big difference, as you can see now, because at number two is Nelson with 437 points, having spent one week at the top last week. So back at the top with 449 points thanks both to Sophia's video entry for the previous competition and for the number of entries for the Black Lives Matter screen free challenge it is of course Butler so congratulations to Butler and listen out later on in the newsletter for details of this week's house competition let's get loads of entries please on those videos this week's house competition is the famous 100 layer challenge. How many items of clothing can you put on in 30 seconds? Send us your videos. My advice, by the way, start with smaller items like t-shirts. Don't put your puffer jacket on first. Hang on, do people still wear puffer jackets?
everyone, so this week I thought I'd do something a little bit different and show you how I've been keeping active during lockdown. Hi all, Sports Day is five school days away. If you want to practice before sports day, check out at Howie underscore PE Twitter page and you can see all the challenges that you will be set on sports day. Best of luck. Hi everyone. So this week, Musician of the Week is being awarded to Milo who has been working on his drumming. Take a look. I would like you to take a moment to think about how changing our thoughts can have a big impact on us. If you have a look at this here, this triangle, it shows you how thinking, feeling and behaving is connected. And it's really quite simple. If we think negatively, we feel negatively and that shows in our behaviour. If we change our thinking to thinking positively, that has an impact on how we feel. And again, that has an impact on how we behave. So have a go at this, have a go at rephrasing your thoughts. If you would like to know more about this, head over to the podcast and see what I've said there. Thank you. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. The word of the week is resolve. And then just a quick reminder about the house reading challenge. Uh, it's still very much on and you have three more weeks to submit your book reviews. And by doing that, you're helping your house uh, to reach that top place in the house league before we break the summer. So keep your reviews coming and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Uh, we've got a few birthday shout outs to make for next week. Uh, happy birthday to Jessica and James in Seven Butler. Happy birthday to Chase and Jacob in Seven Rutherford. And happy birthday to Mahadi in Seven Nelson. Also, a happy birthday to Ollie in Eight Morris. And happy birthday to Josh in Eight Wilberforce.